In today's video, we're going to be exploring with you on how to have a proper left hand position when you're holding the violin. Stick around to the end of the video. Hi there, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. I do a lot of violin how-to tutorials, blogs, and tips. And uh, again, it would hit the like button if you haven't done so already because it really helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Now, I see this all the time. I teach a lot of Suzuki Book One and I notice that sometimes students try to be clever and they try to see if they can, um, they can hold their finger down without having to um, move their fingers a lot. And what they'll tend to do is that they'll want to use a lot of their wrist to get all the fingers down. However, this is a proper uh, violin bow hold over here. Uh, not bow hold, excuse me, left hand position. And a lot of students will have a ten tendency to do this. And you see that this is definitely not natural because the hand and the arm are definitely not comfortable. And if you can see from this angle, my knuckles are not above the fingerboard. Therefore, it's gonna be really tough for me to play the violin. And essentially, it's a very easy fix. All you need to do is just bring that left elbow in, make sh making sure that your wrist and the forearm is nice and straight. The knuckles are above the fingerboard and therefore you have a lot more versatility and independence when it comes to putting fingers down on the fingerboard. So we don't want this, never do this. We want the second option, which is bringing the elbow in just a little bit, straight wrist, fingers curvy over the fingerboard. Depending on your teacher, what you might uh, explore with your teacher is how you hold your violin. Uh, some teachers like to do a lot more solo position which means that um, in traditional Suzuki method your scroll would be around your nose or your scroll will be above your left foot. Some teachers however like to do a little bit more out depending on the the length of the student's arms which is totally fine and you know I've definitely had to go to each student and change it accordingly. Some, t some students do it better when the violin's more in, some students do better and play better and sound better when the violin's a little bit more out. That's just a personal preference. However, that will affect how, um, how in the elbow will be if your violin is out, you know, not above your left foot. So that, so that might be a conversation that you wanna talk to your teacher about. Of course, when you put your violin more in, the elbow is um, able to go into the body a little bit more. And uh, of course, the, the downside of having the violin out and putting the elbow in is that it puts a strain near your elbow and especially the nerves. And it, if, especially if you like tense up around that elbow region quite frequently, then you're gonna experience a lot of pain and we definitely don't want that. To review, knuckles above the fingerboard, making sure that the wrist and the arm is a nice straight line as you can see right here. And we do not want this option, we want the second option. And this is all in relation to how the elbow is put underneath the violin. So to give you an idea, again, if the student is struggling to kind of grasp with that concept, see if you can tell the student that the wrist and the elbow should be on the right side of the violin not on the left side. If you can see your elbow on the left side, then you're doing it wrong. You have to make sure that you don't see your elbow. And they'll be able to see it on the corner of their eye, whether or not they can see their elbow. So that's a fun little game that you can do with your students. There you have it. That's how I approach left hand position in a very quick and easy way. If you're a student or if you're a teacher, please make sure to hit the like button of this video if you like the content. And if you're not a subscriber, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notifications. That way you get notified for when new videos come out. And it also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.